Now to a conversation you only see here on Fox 11. Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on a historic week in California politics and a special night for her. On a night, Speaker Emeritus Nancy Pelosi is honored by L.A. Mayor Karen Bass. We hey, sir, sit down with you? her for an exclusive so interview at the you. mayor's residence. Madam Speaker, welcome to The Issue Is. Well, I'm happy to be here. Diane, all your life you have challenged everyone. We speak on the same day she eulogized Diane Feinstein, her longtime friend and neighbor. What do you think is the most important lesson about leadership that we can learn from her life? Well, from her life, and really, it's a lesson for everyone. Know your why. Know why you are there. Due to Feinstein's loss, Pelosi missed this week's vote that ousted Bakersfield Republican Kevin McCarthy from the speakership. How would you real succinctly describe Kevin McCarthy's legacy as speaker? The um, incredibly shrinking speakership. Mm. He did that to win the votes, took 15 votes, and obviously he was making promises along the way that were very hard. Every card that was played against him, he had dealt to his opponents. After that vote, McCarthy suggested Democrats should have voted to save his career to protect the institution. And my thing was always the integrity of the institution is something that's very important to me. But if you don't respect the institution, then don't expect us to bail you out. One of the first things the temporary speaker pro tem Patrick McHenry did in office was kick Pelosi out of her hideaway office. That's so incidental. I'm more concerned about the fact that they're trying to cut 30% out of our uh, food for children. Congress was run a lot better when we had a madam speaker, right? A different tone on this night in L.A. Hey. John Legend celebrating Pelosi, as does her close friend, L.A. Mayor Karen Bass. Karen Bass is a remarkable figure. We're talking about a very special person. And so for her to be honoring me in this way just is overwhelming. I asked police Pelosi who she thinks will be the next speaker. She says no one really knows, but she thinks Majority Leader Steve Scalise likely has a leg up. But news tonight that former President Donald Trump is endorsing Congressman Jim Jordan in his quest to be Speaker. Last night on Fox 11, Republican Congressman Daryl Issa of Escondido endorsed Jordan. This week on our political show, The Issue Is, Republican Congresswoman Young Kim of Anaheim Hills announcing her endorsement. I know who I'm supporting. This has to be somebody that has proven track record of uh, delivering results, putting our country first, putting our conference united. And I believe that's Steve Scullis. Republicans will hold a closed-door forum for candidates seeking the speakership on Tuesday. A vote is expected on Wednesday. Much more from both Young Kim and Nancy Pelosi on our political show. The Issue Is tomorrow night at 1030 right here on Fox 11.